Hello and thank you for joining us for Community Crossroads. I'm Karina Astrain. On this week's show, we hear from the Museum of the Coastal Bend, we hear from candidates Melissa Rendon Wasichuk and Vanessa Hicks Calloway, and we also take in a performance by the Victoria Ballet Theatre. First, we hear from the Museum of the Coastal Bend, and we have Claudia Mosley, Education Coordinator of the Museum, joining us. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, it's great to see you, and I want to learn about this book festival you have coming up. Yes, so it's called the Texas Independence Day Book Festival on Texas Independence Day, March 2nd, and we'll be honoring Texas authors, um, some local and some regional. I see you brought some books. I did. So Charlie Alcorn is one of our readers, so he'll be doing a reading of his latest book, Beneath the Sands of Monahans. And I've read about five chapters of it, my goal was to read a little bit of every book. That's not happening, but I'm making it through some of them. Um, and I'm actually quite fascinated by his book so far. It's a, definitely a Texas road trip book. Wow. I know Charlie from my education reporting before, and I know his family. They're a tremendous champions here in the crossroads for us. And this book, oh, I recognize this. I thought you would. Yes. So that's Gracie Palmer. She's a West uh, Victoria West High School senior, and I'm sure you guys have featured her. She's also been featured by The Advocate, and we're very excited to have her debut her first published novel. So is this the first time for this, or the first time that y'all are doing this independence, this Texas Independence Book Festival? Yes, so this is the first time we've had a Texas Independence theme, and I know we've honored Texas authors before, but this is the first time we've kind of wrapped it up with the holiday. How fun. I love Texas Independence Day, especially here in Victoria. Everyone gets so excited, and we have usually some fun events, and this is something that you can do in that theme. Yes, and we are trying to um, not only honor our authors, but tie it in with the bicentennial year by having Louise O'Connor as our keynote speaker. Oh, wow. And uh, informing some of the culture and history of Victoria as well. Our history is so rich, and it all has to do with the, the French and the Spanish that first came here. And right. I mean, Victoria was really kind of one of those first arts communities in Texas. Exactly, yeah. So I'm really glad the whole city is on board, of course, with all the arts and culture around, and we wanted to contribute something to the writers in this area. Did you have fun putting this, this Very much. together? Very much, yes. Uh, talking with the writers, I'm, I'm a big reader, so actually getting to talk with the authors, find out a little bit about the backstories of their books, and that's just such a joy for me because it adds so much to the story. And people will get to do that themselves because each author will have their own table, be doing book signings, and you can ask them yourselves if you would like. Oh, wow. So what's the schedule going to look like? What time does it all start? So it starts at 10 and lasts until about 3. All day long we'll have book signings and authors representing their tables. From 10 to 1, we have a children's portion, and that will actually be next door in the Victoria Library. Okay. And if you don't know where the library is, come to the museum and we'll be happy to lead you over there ourselves. So it's going to be at the Victoria College Library? The children's portion, portion will the be. The children's portion will be. All of the rest will be at the museum. So the Victoria Co College Library is literally right next door, but we will, we will guide you there because we want the kiddos to have a good time. We have a couple of really stellar children's authors that are doing readings wow. and presentations. It sounds like a great way to spend the day with the family, you buy a new book, you celebrate Texas. Our favorite thing to do here in the crossroads. That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> and right. Those, those magnificent cannons, they're still at the museum. They are definitely still at the museum. I don't know if they're ever going to move. <laughs> I love those cannons. Uh, Louise O'Connor will be doing a keynote presentation from 2 to 3. So you don't want to miss the end of the day either. And that will be at the museum in our, our new um, expansion that will eventually be our new ranching exhibit. Well, excellent. Sounds like a lot of great things are happening over at the museum. Thank you, Claudia, for for filling us in. Thanks so much. All right, well don't go anywhere. More coming up on Community Crossroads. <laughs> 